what's everybody up to? As usual, I'm running, running, running. <laughs> Getting ready. Uh, that little trip I've been talking about, I've been having to take. Uh, it's coming up tomorrow morning. Uh, finally got called back and we're going to uh, go pick up something tomorrow. I share I'm kicking around in my head. I mean, I could have something running here real soon. But in order to go get this, I had the, the new truck. I don't know if you can see it in there, but uh, wait just a second here. Huh. Pay attention here. Uh, in order to go get this, I'm going to have to uh, wire up that new truck. So I had to. Oops. Well, it opened. Sure. Never fails. I had to go get some wires. I don't, I hate it, so I bought one of those wiring kits there that are already pre-wired. Because when I wire them up, I seem to mess them up. So, but, uh, nah, I gotta, I, I don't know, I drilled a hole in my bumper. I did it on my other truck, and you know what, it actually worked out pretty good. It's where, otherwise, where you mount those, they're so far down, um, you end up tearing up the wires, and, it's always getting beat by road grime and that, and where, when I get back, I'll show you where I put it, and hope, well, I'll probably show you guys finish hooking this thing up. So, one I got has also got a uh, four-prong adapter attached to it, so I don't really have much use for a four-prong, but I get my other little trailer finished, that's what that's going to end up with is a four-prong setup on that, so... Uh, yep, we're just heading back to the farm and finish wiring this up. I had one there. Thought it was good. It wasn't. It, it had the four-way function, but uh, the rest of the wires didn't work. Couldn't get the turn signal light up or nothing. Then I looked down inside there and I'm like, ah, man. The one screw right in the center there almost completely rusted away, so... I guess it broke down when I got a new one. Don't do any good to have one. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, you want your lights working, so. But, all right, well, I'll be here right back. Uh, have a few miles to go and I'll be home. Well, okay, getting here looking. Just hit me. I thought I could see these in the package. Okay, that's all pre-wired. You just come home, hook up, and go. Uh, no. Yeah, now anyway, here's where I cut the hole for that to mount. So I still got to open up, go inside, hook up. And they got blue as being the backup wire no anyway yes I'll go get a screwdriver I thought this was going to bring home just crimp on and go but I guess not alright we'll be back alright I got the wires hooked up there uh, gonna get in the truck and uh, see if I I got a tester there to test with, so. You better know. I just want to know you. Oh, you. I got a tester I can put in. And uh, if it's wired correctly, we should have. Oh, it's got tail lights. Left turn. I'll try the right turn. And the right turn's blanking. Yay! Okay. Well, let's see what we got here, too. Let's see if that's working. Let me check out something. Make sure there's...
we have a light for the markers. Great turn. I'll be right back. And now it should be left turn. Hey, I got it. Now I'll just finish taping all this stuff up. And then uh, I got the trailer brake wire and there's a this truck was equipped with it, with a 12 volt power wire for back here. I suppose with that RV camper, that was probably the charging system for the trailer brakes. But now I can go ahead and screw that all together, tape up the wires, and then uh, get that all shoved up through there. And uh, get my mounting screws. And drill oops no, I guess it won't go with the screws out dummy but anyway I'll get that all done up and I like that uh, little tester so cool all right and up here like I said it'll be up here out of the weather and that and protected and <coughs> excuse me so and the wires I'm using a lot I've noticed this is uh, like the third truck I've come across up here in this area guys they got wires folded over for your trailer plugs like this never knew that for quite a few years so all right well I'm going to tape up some more and uh, we'll get this uh, mounted and then we'll hook up to the trailer and make sure the trailer brakes working and all the lights are working on that the best I know I got a couple of the replace uh, you can't even see the trailer over there so all right, well, I guess that wasn't near as bad to do as what I thought it was going to be. So, all right, be back. Now well, there she is, all mounted up. I got to find a home for that pigtail to stay, and uh, like I said, I got to hook up the power wire and the trailer brakes. So, all right, I'll be back. Well, I even got the last place lights somewhat working. This one, the Plug. I gotta get a new plug and replace it. Wire broke off, but I got one license plate light. Had all everything zip tied up underneath there. This guy, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with yet. But I'm gonna get the hitch and go hook up to the trailer and see. I guess right there, you don't even notice that's there. Really hated to cut a hole in a good, somewhat good bumper, but that's the bumper that come off that wreck truck, so. And I guess it's not completely perfect, but oh, we're getting there. Ah, oh, it's dark. There we go. So I'm gonna. I gotta move one truck, unlock the trailer. Then we're gonna hook up and see what happens. So, all right, we'll be back. Well, okay. Finally, after wandering, I don't know if it'll show up. That one's lit up. That one's lit up. And that's marker lights with a turn signal. And I got that one. That one obviously needs to be replaced. And so is that one. I got that. Uh, all I got left to do is check all the air pressures, maybe squirt some grease into the uh, axles here. And that one needs me. But, uh, found out something. I'll shut this off. It don't need to be running. So, I've had this trailer since 2001. And you know, some trucks I hook up to, it works just no problem. Uh, my trucks, it seemed like. I'd have to ride around until that damn ball would rub or something. Also today, I finally, uh, for the first time since owning this thing since 2001, come on, I took this plug apart to see what's going on. And if I wanted to, I can now wire my trailers for uh, lights, uh, work light, because with this truck, 
I have a 12 volt power supply and it's working. And I know which terminal to hook up to now. But anyway, I open that plug up. Yeah, here, I'll turn it. Open that plug up to see what was going on in there. I thought, well, you know, it's getting old. Maybe I got a bad connection in there because I could get turn signals, kind of. Brake lights, kind of. And, uh, um, marker lights. But when I tried the four ways, trailer went dead. Like, all the things are hooked up that's supposed to work off of. So, taking that plug apart, guess what I found? After all these years, and I mean, they even had the ground wire drilled into the frame and anchored. They never hooked the ground wire up in the plug. I hooked that up, and now I've got bright lights on this trailer. But this truck here, it's one we used, uh, my buddy's truck that we used to go get uh, that truck when it died. Where is it? Where is it? That one when it died. And we hooked up to this trailer after I fixed the second time we used his truck to do something. Found out his plug in the back end, somebody must have worked on it and thought they had it together. And when they put the locking thing in to keep the plug back, the, it's got a nice factory watertight plug set up on that Dodge. Well, they didn't have it in there, so it, when they pushed that lock in, it pushed off. And uh, so we fixed that. Once we fixed that, trailer lights were good to go. Well, it was grounding through his truck, and since his ain't don't have the rust on it, that ball grounded out right away. Well, now I've got it to where it is grounded through the plug, plus the ball. Hey, I wonder if the... Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if that uh, electric brake works or not, because uh, I couldn't get it to light up. I tested it the other day, so I don't know if there might be a bad spot in the wire, or it just might be junk. Huh. Or when I was pulling around, maybe I... Because that was something I just had. See, I should get a light on it when I... Yeah, I think I need a... Hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, it ain't the first time I've pulled a trailer without trailer brakes. And maybe that's just something that I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, like I said, I gotta uh, go shake myself off because I'm laying on the gravel. Check the tires, the oil, everything. Well, I know. Two back tires. This is the tire I just had that big hole fixed in and it's going down. Don't have to look and listen or see what the heck's going on there. But the guy I don't think ever did check for the another hole. He just seen that big one, and that's what he called good, so and I still haven't found a good place to store this wire. So but kind of, you hit her, since I ain't going to be running with a tailgate, I don't think. Oh, that's the other thing I want to do. Got a toolbox I want to put on here. I'm thinking about putting in here. But anyway, I guess. Ah, uh, don't know what else. Might do that. Two oxygen sensors on that truck there. I guess they're supposed to be out. So, I haven't got nothing done that I wanted to today. <laughs> but, I suppose I better finish getting this ready to go. And, uh, in the morning we're going to be getting up and going early, I think. Oh, that's what else. I got a new, uh, breakaway trailer brake set up. That I got to put on. Pretty sure that other one's trashed and should check to see if that battery for that new one's charged and that is oh i got i knew where that was 
Yeah. I suppose I better open that up and make sure that battery's still charged up or charge it and so. Alright, I'll check this out and I'll be back. Now we're gonna take this off and see what we got. <laughs> That's not sounding too good. Hmm. I, uh, I'll be right back, guys. All right, sorry about that. Let's see. Unfortunately, I gotta get these bolts out. Like I said, they... Never been out. Wow, and that don't feel good. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. This one's better than none, huh? That's right, I just hit that ground wire up. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least that's sticking out there long enough. Ah. Uh, I go on and get me a screwdriver. That screw that broke off broke off fine. Get on it with a vice grip at least. Yeah, this system got busted off the trailer here a few years ago. I had a guy come and help me, and he wasn't too careful what he'd done, and he cleaned my trailer. Set thing off. all that out. Here, I'll take you with. I'll go ahead and see if this battery's got any life in it. Or not. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Right up there. At the... I can't find him. I can see him, but... I...
Oh, there he is. Oops, zoomed in too much. Oh well. Be interesting to see if this battery. Well, it looks like the same battery, so it's just a matter of switching batteries. And putting the. Oh, yeah. That old battery. It is dead. Uh, in the 12 years I've had that trailer, I don't think it's ever been charged. Yeah, we'll let it sit there. But I guess. Looks like the same battery, so cool. I won't have to change that box. Now, I yeah, got me a pair of ice grips to work on that stud. And here's a good pair. Well, let's see. I guess I'll get this stud out and uh, we'll go from there. I'll be back. Boy, did I get lucky. No, that stud did not come out. I had to drill it, and I actually drilled it centered. And, uh, got it. Let's see. And these. Got to go hook up the new breakaway switch. That's for when the trailer comes undone. Uh, it's supposed to turn the brakes on on the trailer. So, let's see. Let's see what you guys. I can't quite see where I gotta work here. Now you ain't gonna see much there either. Anyway, uh, I have my tripod close. So uh, let's see. This is mounted there. Oh, I where the heck the wires go? Well, it's been so long since I had this on here because that breaks away, turns it on. That simple that the wires just went up and over. There they did. Right to there. Yeah, let's see what we got here. I don't need any more troubles. That's why I'm fixing this trailer up today. I had enough bad luck for a while. I'm here in the state, they're cracking on getting down on guys with the trucks and trailers. And I got told they said it's because oh we got the truck drivers behaving too well now. So I'm like so now you're going after. Echo Joe Blow. Okay. So. I hate to know how much the time will be me for. That's all that was. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to use those or cut them off. Put me on. Okay. This 
snap them off and start over. I ain't gonna make you sit here and wait for me. So I'll be right back. Now I've done all this work to this truck and this tire looks like it keeps getting finer and finer on me. <sighs> Alright. Well, trailer is almost back to being like it was when it was new. It's got the breakaway on. There's the cable you're supposed to hook to the truck. So uh, yeah. I think that's why I always think care for that. No real place to store that. Anyway, it's all hooked up. I finally got all the grounds going, white lights going. Now I guess, uh, and it's getting cold. And look at what the, the sky's doing over there. I mean, it's just. Weird, I don't think we're supposed to get anything tonight. I thought it was supposed to be decent, so. Well, guys, oh, it's dark. I think I'm going to air up those tires. And I hook that breakaway up just like it's been all these years. I'll just have to remember every once in a while to get into it and charge it. So it don't end up like that battery. So, well, I guess this is today was the a work on your lights day. And simple job took forever to do. So, all right, guys. Well, once I get back from going to do what I got to do tomorrow, this thing's got to get out. So, I guess it's gonna be the next one I work on. So. Alright, well, thanks for watching and subscribing and commenting and and putting up with my stuff. <laughs> uh, hope everybody, I've either taught some or given people ideas on how to do something a little different. So, alright, well, see you guys later. Thanks.